What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to check out a hack for the best way to get the shadows you actually want inside of your SketchUp models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you want to follow along, you can go to the 3D Warehouse and look for the industrial grade um, DADU model um, from Mike Brestel. This is a great model that's detailed and um, it has different levels in it. So it'll work for us to uh, take a floor plan and things like that. Mike's got a ton of great models in the uh, 3D Warehouse. And so I'm going to start by going in here and he's got multiple different um, planes that are already in here. I'm going to go ahead and explode this model. But notice how if I do a view section planes, I'm going to set this to be my active cut right here so that I've got a floor plan view. And then we'll go ahead and we'll toggle our section planes off. We'll go to a top down view and we'll make sure to toggle things into parallel projection mode right here. And um, you might want to go into your styles and change the section fills to something white, just so you can kind of see where the walls are and things like that. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating a floor plan view of this model. And in this case, I don't necessarily want this floor plan view to have all the textures in it, um, just because it's a little bit busy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the styles right here, and we'll go ahead and we'll set this just so that we have the front and back shaded using all same option right here. Now I've got basically a black and white model. Now I've got some faces that aren't oriented properly. So usually what I'll do um, if I'm not going to render this is I'll just go in here and I'll just change the back face color to a white as well. So now everything's white. Now, a lot of the time, what I like to do with something like this is I like to provide a little bit of a shadow in here just to give a little bit of depth to these models, because a lot of the time these can look fairly flat. And so I like to use shadows in order to give just a little bit of shadow coming off the corners, um, just to make these look a little bit more three dimensional. But the problem is if you go into the shadows section of your tray right here, and you try to control this, you can do it, but you're fairly limited, right? You're basically limited by the engine trying to um, simulate what the shadows might look like in the real world. And so if I wanted just a little bit of a shadow coming off at like a 45 degree angle or something like that, notice how I can't really get these really close to the edges and the walls, they kind of extend along and they get really busy. Um, and there's no way built into SketchUp where you can just say, no, I want the sun to go up and over a little bit more, just as kind of a default. But there is actually a really cool workaround um, that you can use starting in uh, SketchUp 2025 with the new render engine. So what you can do is you can go into your environments and the first thing we need to do is enable rendered mode for a second. Now we're not actually going to render this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna toggle this on because that's going to toggle on my ability to add an environment to the scene, right? So if I click on one of these environments, like this one right here, I like the lighting in this one, the farm. Um, notice how this is trying to light the scene using the environment. But the cool thing about that is even if I go back to my shaded using all same, the environment function is still on. Well, the environment function added this cool thing in here where if you go to edit, you can set the sun location, right? So when you set the sun location, what this is going to do is this is going to try to use the sun inside of the 3D space here um, and, and try to simulate what the shadows would look like in our scene. Now at the moment, that doesn't look very good, but what I'm doing is I'm actually going to use this environments tab and the ability to um, adjust where the sun is without actually using the environment itself. So what I like to do is I like to toggle the use environment as sky dome off and use environment for reflections off. So now I am in the shaded view using all same right here. I have the set sun location toggled on and I can actually use this to customize where my sun is in the 3D space really quickly. So I can actually take this and I can make it so that I have just a little bit of shadow coming off the corners right here, just like this, nothing big, just a little bit, but notice how that does a really good job of adding just a little bit of depth to my scene right here. So you can actually use the environment function and you can click and drag in here, by the way, in order to set your sun wherever you want it to be. I personally prefer using these sliders because they give you a little bit more fine control, right? Because again, I'm trying to get these to just come off at like a 45 degree angle off of the edges right here. Now, even if you don't use these for your floor plans, right? So we're going to do a view animation. We'll just save this scene right here. But let's say that you wanted to do an elevation 
instead. So I'm just gonna go to a front view right here. We're gonna go to our view section planes. And I don't think he has a front section plane, so I'm gonna add one. Um, but again, shadows are a really good thing to indicate depth in your elevations because your elevations can also have a tendency to look really flat, right? So I'm gonna take this section plane, I'm gonna move it back just a little bit. Then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do an align view. Whoops, don't click on active cut, click on align view. There we go. That's gonna align my camera right here. Well now, notice what I'm able to do, and I wanna go ahead and I want to toggle my section planes off. And in this case, I want to go into my styles, right? And I want to create a new style. And this new style, I want my section fills turned off. I don't want it adding the extra edges in here like this. But now I've got this view. Well, within this view, I can go back to my environments and I can do the same thing. And in this case, environments are already enabled, so we don't need to mess with it all that much. But for your environments, right, a lot of the time what we want to do, and I might toggle some of these trees off in a second, but we might want to just use this in order to um, create just a little bit of sun or a little bit of shadow coming off the surface here, right? Because again, this adds a fair amount of depth in here like this. And I'll probably go into my tags and I will toggle my trees off. So let me see, it's probably vegetation. Looks like there's not a trees tag. So I'll just take all these trees. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a new scene so I can get back to this. And then I can go pick up all of the trees like this. I can drop them in a group. I can tag them trees. And then I can go back to that front view right here. We're gonna to toggle trees off. So now what I've got is I've got a front view in here with the shadows exactly where I want them to be. And if I want to adjust the shadows, I can just use this tool right here in order to adjust the shadows. This is actually one of the better implementations of just kind of like a an environment control where you can strongly control where the shadows are right here. But once I'm done with that, I can just update my scene. And now those shadows are saved in that scene. These shadows are saved in this scene right here. And so again, it's just kind of a quick little thing, but it gives you full control over where your sun is in the sky. And so therefore it gives you control over everything about your shadows, which I absolutely love. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you knew about this, if you've used it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.